what's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology so this is another brand new tutorial series um, as we promised that we should uh, start another new series so one of the series was rust programming tutorial and this is another tutorial series which is on iot security so i am actually super excited actually uh, uh, the plan was to start this tutorial a bit uh, earlier last year but due to some uh, uh, other stuff or other work on neo4j so we are actually starting this tutorial a bit late so uh, from now onwards so every week we'll uh, upload more videos on iot security as we uh, started the rust programming tutorial uh, the system programming uh, on rust so just because iot is going to uh, be one of the like important and most uh, popular uh, technology topics in 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 coming days like um, by 2020 as i told you by 2020 there is a prediction that every pro people or every uh, like human being will be responsible for at least 1.5 iot device so the more iot device will require like significant amount of secure code and that is what uh, we 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 we, in, we like kind of discuss like why rust programming language is going to take over the market and the same reason when you are trying to doing trying to do some sort of code you have to write your secure and uh, like memory like safe code and all we already decided uh, sorry discussed but uh, just writing your code uh, like in a, in a secure way or uh, probably uh, doing properly is not sufficient you need to understand the uh, different uh, topology or it infrastructure or network uh, related stuff to uh, like securely like develop your infrastructure so that hacker should not gain access so iot security is um, for those uh, topics like uh, when you are uh, accessing some device through the internet uh, let's say you are having one uh, smart uh, not smart you are having one remote camera install or cctv camera install for your home so whenever you are going outside you are uh, like checking from your phone that if your camera is working fine or not but until and unless you found something wrong or something is not working you will not you will not uh, like um, doubt or you will not uh, like go and check like what is happening actually in the back end let's say your one one of the hacker like got an access to your camera and he did some sort of like port forwarding so whenever you are trying to watch something from the remote camera you will get the same picture or same sort of things there and he also tweak the uh, like the watch inside the console so you will get the actual time but the uh, image or some recording will be uh, like random not the actual one but if the camera picture or something is not coming properly then we'll go and check so because of that iot security is going to be like most important so 99 percent people probably 99.1 or 95 I, I do not know the exact uh, like number but at least 90 percent uh, like organization or people those are actually having very huge like dependency on the iot infrastructure and environment they are actually not familiar with the iot risk they only say our 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 job is to save the business and the uh, and as long as our business is working fine we are fine we don't want to invest any extra amount of money on the iot security to uh, like to like eliminate that myth that business and our technology or iot is completely uh, uh, like different we are coming up with this course so this will only not only helping uh, is going to help the students or the uh, technology geeks it is also going to help the professional consultants or um, like experienced guys like those are working uh, there uh, or already started their career with the cyber security or the uh, like experienced guys those are already working in the cyber security but in a different area but wanted to do something in the iot security on the same uh, like area for them also it is going to help so Definitely, I am actually expecting uh, much more response to this course because this is kind of a buzzword. Like if you search in the internet or Google or any keyword specific tool, IoT will get millions of hits. So this is one of the trending topic for this year as well. Like Python, machine learning and data science, IoT is also one of the trending words for last year. If you go and check the Google uh, Trend Analytics. So that is why we created this course. This is not only help is going to help the students or the freshers or the college graduates this is also going to help the professional like people experienced people all the service consultants all the experienced guys those are working in the different area but want to pursue their career or help their customer in the area of cyber security and iot 
so let's move on to the uh, next slide so why should we care about iot security iot devices are in increasing day by day we all we know as as of uh, now i have uh, i have already iterate this uh, sentence that by the year of 2020 or 2021 every people will be responsible for at least 1.5 iot devices so this is the thing so the more iot device will bring uh, significant risks to the whole iot ecosystem so ecosystem means suppose you are having your home your home is having install one uh, 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 like smart security system and those smart security system having one alarm one sensor and one uh, like cctv camera whenever it detects some sort of sort of motion or sense some sort of activities like heat or uh, like uh, cold whatever it will give you some sort of uh, sms and there will be some alarm triggered probably your neighbor should get uh, uh, attention that something happens so this is the whole infrastructure suppose uh, someone uh, got access to the system and change something so that you will never get any alarm whenever, whenever if someone is doing something or probably he you know, like does any changes within your home or environment or anything so that is called the ecosystem so the more number of device the more it will actually uh, uh, actually it will increase the risk to the ecosystem but as i told you 90 percent of the organization is not aware of the risk let's say if you if you go and ask like all the cctv owners those that actually install cctv camera or remote cctv camera or ip ip based cctv camera or smart home system they are actually not familiar with the risk for example when you are connecting uh, to your phone to the cctv you are actually giving access uh, or you are getting access via remotely to, to your camera so this is common that if you are able to access to your camera someone else also can able to get access to your camera only thing is that he has to know your router password or your router ip and if you are just uh, keeping your router password is admin admin or default he can easily crack and he can do anything or he can uh, like get to your system to actually monitor your home uh, just like you okay so he can get access to your personal information he can get access to your anything whatever he can uh, do uh, whatever is possible he can do remotely and as well as if you are not at your home he can like into uh, like kind of a can get access to your home by doing like force entry to your home and other things so that is i'm not going to discuss this i'm just going to tell you what that is but if you go and ask like probably you can ask your neighbor or whoever actually installs cctv camera or any shopkeeper you, you can go and ask that if you install remote cctv camera do you know that it's they will definitely say no why should i know the risk as long as my work is going on i am thinking that i am safe and i can watch the camera feed from the remote uh, location i am actually happy but that is not the risk so this case is actually this course is actually going to uh, give all all the students all the experienced professional all the like uh, people those are actually doing something at least one percent task related to this sort of smart devices iot things will give you kind of an eye opener for them okay so they will understand the risks and after that definitely we are going to talk about the how to mitigate those risks as well and how to save and protect uh, themselves from the risk so i'm again reiterating the same thing this is this course is not only for the student or the new like new guys those are actually started their career or actually those are actually very much uh, like uh, kind of passionate about cyber security and iot this is actually going to help the professional uh, like guys or the employees those are working for this area for like 10 15 whatever but they wanted to do or they want to do something in the area of cyber security for them also this course is going to give much help so that they can do something better or innovative for their client as well so the course objective so in so first in the first part we'll discuss about the introduction of the iot and ics with respect to cyber security so there are three different part iot ics and cyber security iot means all of you know internet of things ics means industrial critical system and cyber security means all we know so we're going to discuss about what is iot why it is ics ics and how these things are related to cyber security okay and after that we'll be going to talk about the different components of iot ics with respect to cyber security we are not going to talk about the industrial control system how the manufacturing units work and those, those this is not our concern our concern is only specific to cyber security okay so next thing is that potential threats for iot uh, sorry ics and scada system here is a new term scada we'll de definitely discuss this thing an example of some popular attacks while 
I actually got some uh, nice example from Wikipedia, NIST and other uh, cyber security frame uh, like forums. What are the like uh, till now? What are the biggest and popular attacks for ICS and SCADA system? We're going to discuss about all those threats as well. And the last and most important part, which I was uh, like discussed few minutes ago regarding that this course is going to help students uh, like experienced professional like those are actually started their career and also those are working already but wanted want to do something in the area of cyber security and iot so for them this the fourth part is going to be very important so here we'll be going to discuss about the industry specific tools and techniques frameworks and best practice guide to protect and secure iot and I ics system whether it will be their uh, own environment it will be their like client or whatever or their own business so actually this course is going to give you kind of a theoretical uh, like understanding and definitely will get in gain some sort of like deeper insight about the whole iot and ics infrastructure so that it will uh, give you like extra uh, like benefit so that you can apply those knowledge to secure protect the critical infrastructure so when i'm talking about theoretical uh, actually i'm not sure how much i'll be able to provide you the practical or the lab session because it is very difficult you can understand it is very difficult to uh, get access to all those system and all and i cannot uh, show you any manufacturing unit or live unit like this but i will try to do some sort of like simulator sort of thing for example i can give you like azure simulator uh, for a raspberry pi to do some sort of testing but uh, don't worry whatever i'll teach you it, it will actually uh, sufficient so that you can apply those knowledge when you are going to apply this thing for your client for your own business or probably and some other stuff or most of them are going to uh, actually use these things for your college or final year uh, project as well so that is the whole objective of this course and probably in the next section or the next tutorial we'll be going to talk about a uh, brief index introduction on why iot devices are bring additional risks to the infrastructure so uh, this is actually very first course so i don't want to like start it from this today's topic rather i just distribute uh, the segment in this way so that anyone is watching this tutorial for from the beginning will get an uh, like idea about what are the what are the things we are going to cover in this course and what are the benefit they will get but the most important thing as i told you i am let me just highlight this this thing uh, okay so this this part is going to be really important for all of you i'm not sure which uh, like category or which uh, groups you belong probably you can be a student uh, final year student or probably you just uh, started your job or you are looking for a job or you are going to prepare for the interview or already you are working in any of this uh, domain and you want to do something on the cyber security or iot related area so this part is going to be very important so hopefully uh, i will uh, start the next tutorial probably tomorrow but i'm not sure if tomorrow is not possible definitely by wednesday i will upload one more video and definitely it will be um, like uh, very exciting and as well as uh, challenging for all of you guys cause probably this will uh, give you a real insight of the actual iot thing and what are the things you are going to like uh, consider when you are going to work for a customer on the iot for their iot environment or for iot related stuff i am actually very much uh, excited to bring this course uh, on a live uh, environment for example i am also uh, doing a same course with the contents are quite different for udemy as well so those are actually uh, those guys are actually watching this course from udemy i want to have some uh, more insight on the course can buy and watch my course from the udemy but don't worry guys the youtube course is almost 90 percent same but some some additional benefit you will get from udemy like uh, some sort of quiz or assignment or uh, some related stuff but again the content wise this will be same so that's all for today i believe uh, mm, i covered the introduction part all the topic uh, I, I cover all the topic for this introduction part so we'll see you in the next video tomorrow or day after tomorrow uh, if tomorrow is not possible definitely day after tomorrow but till then take care goodbye and please subscribe to our channel and if you have any question doubt suggestion feedback you can feel free to write me and regarding this iot topic i am planning to create a separate uh, uh separate uh like section to our facebook um, page or uh, probably uh, in our um, description of the every video uh, you, we can create some sort of like uh, 
question answer uh, section so there you guys can put your question because i know this is going to be very much uh, like uh, confusing for many of the students because this is going to be really for uh, like all of you not all of you but uh, most of you are not familiar with iot and the cyber security related topics or till now whatever we are doing like a kind of programming and python but this is completely different for this topic the programming and coding is less less not 99 percent things are nothing to do do with programming or coding here actually concepts are more or less on the theoretical side and mostly on the network or cyber security or vulnerability assessment threat uh, and penetration testing related stuff so those things are actually very much new those are actually not familiar those students are not familiar with any cyber security topic for them it will be definitely uh, difficult but don't worry guys if you have any question doubt uh, or any suggestion feel free to write me i will definitely try to answer my objective is to clear your doubts not to keep you on uh, like uh, any uh, like in in doubt that uh, that if 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 that is the case then my purpose is not going to solve cuz ultimately if you are learning something then my purpose will be solved okay so enough of talking guys so let's see how it goes in the next video and definitely try to watch our other videos as well and if possible you can share our videos with your family friends so definitely it will help us to uh, reach the larger and bigger audience so that's all guys that's all for today hope to see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice weekend